The first thing we have here is a line segment. A line segment is very similar to a line, except that it actually has two endpoints. To name the line segment, we use two points on the line. So the two points on this line are A and B. So we name it by A and B with a line above it without any arrows. Or we could have said B, A. So that's how we write line segments, how we name them. The next thing that we have here is a ray. We name a ray by starting out with the endpoint. The endpoint is A. And then you draw a ray above it. The next thing we have here is a line. A line is very similar to a line segment, except it has arrows at the end. So we name the line by the two points on it. Um, so the two points are A and B. And then we draw a line with arrows above it. Or we could have said B, A. The next thing we have here is an angle. There's three different ways we could name this angle. First you want to use the angle symbol and then you want to use the three letters. So B, A, C. A has to go in the middle because A is the vertex. So we could also name it by angle C, A, B. And then lastly we can name it just by the vertex, so angle A. The next thing we have up here is two line segments that are perpendicular. Perpendicular means the two lines intersect and they create right angles or 90 degree angles. So we can name these two line segments or show it using symbols by AB, line segment AB is perpendicular to line segment CD. The symbol for perpendicular is an upside down T. So we could have also said BA, line segment BA is perpendicular to DC. And there's actually some other ways we could write this. Okay, the next two lines that I have here, they are parallel. Parallel means two lines never intersect. And usually on a picture with two lines that are parallel, they have arrows drawn actually on the lines. So to represent this using symbols, we say that line CD is parallel, so kind of a slanted vertical lines, or it looks like an 11 is our symbol for parallel. Uh, line AB, or we could have said that line DC is parallel to line B.